Hi again. In this session, I'm going to show you some cool stuff, uh, especially it's actually related to the network and infrastructure penetration testing. And let's see what we have here. Okay, so the lab is about network and infrastructure penetration testing with tips and tricks. And here we'll be exploring the Nmap web dashboard and reporting and some tips and tricks the tools we'll be using are the end map web map and of course the normal web browser which could be your uh, favorite chrome or firefox okay um, <clears throat> let's start with uh, the step-by-step -step, uh, practice so step one will be creating a temporary folder uh, and directory. Yeah, I forget to mention that I'm still uh, will be using the Nmap uh, running on Kali Linux, and I have prepared several vulnerable machines you know, running Windows 2003, uh, 2000, uh, Red Hat, uh, and some other Ubuntu Linux. Okay, so. I've got about um, actually more than 10 virtual uh, machines uh, running yeah so let's start by doing the first step which is actually to create a temporary folder for the web map I'll just copy this one and launch it on my Kali oops I've already created the uh, slash TMP web map. Let's check. Slash TMP and web map. Okay, that's it. Okay. So once we have uh, created this, of course you can you could actually uh, you know check the content just by typing ls. So once we have created the temporary folder for the web map uh, report. Or reporting you can just close this one and then uh, before we actually launch uh, the uh, the web map which is actually uh, running on a docker okay let's start by scanning our network to find the live host in this example I'll be using uh, net discover this is my favorite tool to scan the entire network or any you know available networks to find live hosts of course if you already know the um, range of, or the subnets of your network you could launch uh, this command like nmap let me show you the command nmap n SN is actually to skip the name resolution so it will be uh, faster than no, uh, the normal nmap so then do the ping sweep sn dash sn you can scan let's say network of uh, 192.168.1.0/24 or 131.107.1.0/24 132.16.0 or I would say dot one dot zero slash twenty four or any network. Okay. So it's something like this. Oops, I think there's something wrong with the let me check my IP address. Okay. So route add default gateway one three one one zero seven dot one dot one 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 let's scan this network okay so it's the same thing yeah you can use this net discover or you can also use this and map okay I will minimize this uh, to windows so that we can actually proceed with our next um, step yeah, so as you can see that and map found several IP addresses or live hosts as well as this uh, net discover okay all right so 
So let me minimize this one. And let's start the Docker. Okay, uh, before we can start Docker uh, with this one, let me just copy this one and launch this Docker. Oops. Let me launch a new window and launch Docker. Okay, so if you saw this uh, error showing cannot connect to the Docker daemon, so this is what you need to do. Just type service docker start. Okay, and then repeat the command. Okay, it says that the uh, container name web map is already in use by the container. Yeah. Uh, let's see what we can actually do. You have to remove or rename that container to be able to use that name. So I could just rename this, for example, uh, the name would be nmap web map, uh, let's say new or yeah, web map new. Okay, so it will actually create new uh, container name, right? So we're done with the first and second step. So the second step is actually to launch web map Docker. And then step three will be scanning ports based on the, you know, found subnet. In these examples, I'll be using subnet 131, one and two, 172 and another 192.168.74.0.74 okay let's do it one by one so i'll be scanning this first subnet i'll close this window i'll use uh, two or three different windows yeah so this is the first subnet let it run i'll be opening a new window and I'll launch another nmap scanning. All right. And another one. So that we can actually do the uh, nmap scanning simultaneously. last one okay and notice that I am actually using the uh, output for the end map dash ox space slash slam tmp slash web map and then the name of the xml file so all of the results will be stored on this slash tmp slash web map okay and the normal scan i used was actually the slash st yeah so with my bit defender actually detected uh, port scan just ignore it okay and while the uh, port scan are running yeah port scans are running let's just open up the dashboard of our tool in this case web map yeah, it's gonna take a while to launch the browser and just paste this uh, url and by default here you can see that web map is actually running on port 80 uh, so 8000 on my local host right so I can uh, minimize this if I want don't forget that we need to get a token so step 
for here is launching web map dashboard which we already did and then step five will be creating a token for the dashboard so we need to run a token i mean you need to have the token in order to actually launch the or view the dashboard so i'll be running docker with this command so i'll be opening up new window and launch the command oops because i use different um, docker name so i have to uh, change this to new that's it we got a token we can copy this token and go back here you see that we need to enter the token right so just paste it and click login and select do not save so wait for a while <coughs> Wait for the token to I mean wait for the web client to launch we can minimize this and of course it'll be uh, we'll be having to wait for the uh, scanning to finish yeah all of this let's check the token hmm looks like it's uh, it's not really running well if you want you can of course create new token if it is required yeah we can just run the same command to get a new token so you get, all you need to do is just copy the token and paste it on our web browser Uh, refresh this now while waiting let me show you something in case you need to uh, update your web map you can actually run this command yeah curl yeah it'll do the update yeah in this example we don't really need to update yeah and don't forget that for uh, more information you can refer to nmap.org and the github web map okay for more information as i already mentioned here yeah so this is the how it actually will look like so this is the nmap okay let's go back hmm. why is it very uh, slow huh? okay so while waiting let me stop the um, video so that it will uh, it will not take a uh, longer time to actually uh, show you the result yeah all right so let's uh, hang on for a while i'm back now let's see uh after uh, a while you can see these uh, results yeah showing me the subnet one two three and four you can refresh this page if you want and you can actually uh, click on xml2 since we have uh, we've got this host count three just click on the xml meanwhile let's check the yeah so this is actually my first scanning subnet 2 so this is actually for subnet 2 and i also got my uh let's see my subnet 1 results and yeah, subnet 4 is not yet done this is actually subnet 4 but subnet 3 is already done yeah so you can see that we got three subnets 
have been successfully scanned. Yeah. Okay, it's gonna take a while again to refresh. And notice that because I did the uh, dash A, it will actually show you a uh, complete uh, result of your target. Yeah. Okay, so uh, in fact, uh, while uh, waiting for this, you could actually run uh, another nmap command or yeah, command by typing, let's say, nmap dash n dash s. Uh, that's a then you can specify the t4 to speed up the process and then you can scan using let's say uh vulnerability script dash dash uh, script dash vuln and of course you can add the uh host on the subnets that you want to scan like for example i will start with uh 131107 uh let me see Let's get back to the notes. So I'll start with this one. Yeah. Okay, so I'll scan for this. I'll also scan for one and two, one six eight dot one dot wait dot one dot zero session four. I'll also scan for the uh, this is the second one. The third one will be this. And the fourth subnet will be 192.168.74.0.74. Uh, so don't forget that it's uh, going to take a while to uh, finish the scan. Meanwhile, let me check. So let's see. The expected result will be something like this. Yeah. So you will see the result of your uh, XML uh, based on the nmap uh, scanning result. Yeah. So you can see something like this. Okay. And then you could also see the scan information, port status, top ports slash services as well as you could also mark the host as vulnerable or need attention or something okay again let's go back hopefully i can see the result now uh, it looks like it's still running i'm not sure uh, let me check uh, let me restart my docker service docker restart then I could uh, launch the same command and then modify the docker name and paste maybe change the nmap domain uh, uh, docker name to new uh, looks like uh, it's not going to uh, restart that there's a conflict anyway we can rename to any uh, container uh, or even delete the uh, container yeah so you can use the docker command to look at the uh, so for example you can kill you can kill or you can even inspect let me run the same command it says that container blah 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 you can use the uh, ps minus a to see the docker uh, uh, let me see uh, docker as h uh, to see the list uh, yeah images uh, 
just type images yep. uh, to speed up the process I'll just create a new docker name later on I can just delete this or remove the docker and let's just run this one again yeah okay so I think I will have to uh, stop my um, video for a while just to wait until the docker uh, the web map gets uh, the results from our nmap scan here okay hang on for a while i'll be getting back to you soon hi i'm here again after a few minutes uh so let me show you the result so this is web map the result okay and this is when you click one of the uh, file name that was uh, created yeah. and from here you can see the uh, options like pdf create a pdf report check for cv and exploits and even network view so this is the example of the network view so this is the xml file you can just click on any of the um, available hosts such as for example here and the other one for example yeah so quite nice right yeah here and then let me show you a trick uh, so earlier i did the uh, scan using this uh, command uh, here let me just copy this one yeah. and you can put uh, the file name uh, which could be stored on let's see temp okay so you can put any name like for example uh, output xml and then you can uh, uh, use the script to scan for uh, vulnerabilities that's that script Boom. and you can put the uh, complete uh, set of uh, network range or subnets such as this one And space this one one and two and one seventy two and the last one another one seventy two dot one six eight dot seventy four and then just press enter okay so that's the complete command yeah so if you just copy the command you could have something like this so here yeah okay so uh, to save the time uh, let me show you the result of the script yeah so I save it uh, somewhere in C TMP web map ls star dot xml and this is my uh, xml file the result yeah so LK. so quite a big size of file now do you know that you can, you, that you can actually convert this uh, XML file into an HTML file by using the command like for example here um, the xslt proc then uh, the file name like for example vuln.xml and then you can put the output dash o then you can put the same name in fact but this time HTML 
and you run the Firefox. For example, here Firefox and wound.html. So this is what you will be seeing. Okay. So complete uh, what you call this result of your scan in a nice format. Yeah, you can of course uh, zoom it. Okay, to see the result. Okay. Now comparing to uh, this one with uh, the other one, yeah, created by WebMap, as well as this one, as well as this one, yeah. This one is actually f uh, good for reporting, while the WebMap also is a very nice cool uh, tool that you can use to uh, uh, provide or to create a result. Uh, I mean the report, right? okay guys uh, i think that's all for this session so uh, for more information again you could uh, open up this website this one yeah this is actually for nmap and for the web map yeah refer to this website all right uh, so hopefully the uh, this session's video uh, would be very uh, useful for you to actually provide the reporting uh, for your uh, network and infrastructure penetration testing. See you next time.